Hello everyone, Epi Eclipse here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Prospects Guide. So, in today's episode, we're going to be going over dribbling, which has been coming for a while. I've been saying it's coming, but today, here it is. So, I want to say thank you for all the support through this series. It's been doing very well, and I'm very happy, and I'm hoping it's helping you guys in some way. So, within dribbling, we're going to go over a couple different topics. The first one is cars that I recommend, cars that I like to use for dribbling. There's a couple of them. And there's one other car that I'm iffy about because it just came out. So, and then the next thing is actually dribbling. Then the next thing is aerial dribbling. And then the next thing is where to really practice dribbling or where I like practicing dribbling. So, first car that I like for dribbling is the Dominus. This has a couple, like, versatile, what I would say, moves. Like, different cars have different moves that you can use. So, the Dominus I will be showing you. And I like using that a lot for dribbling. And then as well, I, the breakout, which is very similar to the Dominus. It uses sort of the save movement. And then lastly, the Octane is a nev another very, very good car for dribbling. It's known for basically it's dribbling. Uh, so I'll be showing you how to really dribble in that as well. And then another car that I said is a maybe, but I haven't really so played into it yet because it just came out, is the Batmobile. It seems like it's going to be a very good car for dribbling from the gameplay that I've played with it. <laughs> zero wins but yeah so let's get into this okay so we're here in free play and first what we're going to start off with dribbling is what really dribbling is so dribbling is when you have the ball on the top of your car like this that is what dribbling is that's like kind of dribbling around that would be called now another fix to dribbling is like doing something like that like a little pop to it Dribbling could be used for many different things. It could be used for passing the ball, getting past opponents and scoring, and really helpful in defensive teams and offensive teams. It could be used for a smaller, clear, and more team plays in a way. See, like, say the ball's over there and they're, like, waiting in goal. Instead of taking it straight to goal, you can sort of dribble it out and your teammate could be right there and they could shoot it in. See, those are just some of the uses for dribbling. So now, basically, I will go over... The kind of the moves for the dominus okay well first the thing that there is is you want to get the car on your hood so what you got to do is you kind of got to drive into it and get under the ball and then maintain your speed with the ball and keep the ball on your hood of your car so that's how you get to the start of dribbling now there's a couple different ways to do this like i did before is you drive straight into it now another way to do it is kind of go next to it and turn into it and you can start your dribble that way like that so those are basically the two main ways of starting your dribbling dribble in the top yeah uh, in the dominus so next is sort of the movements that you do once you have the dribble started so let's get the dribble started here now the first one is I'm gonna go over that one <laughs> is sort of a backflip now this is used if you're kind of getting better at dribbling and you're dribbling against your opponent pretty much all game. So you use that to basically do a slow dribble off because if you're doing it all game, they're going to be expecting you to do something more like this where you're just going to, you know, dribble it in and then do something more like that. And they'll be expecting something quicker. So they'll be going to anticipate that and that little jump backwards will throw them off and you'll most likely get a goal. But then next, what I just did over there was a little... you jump up once and then you press the D or the A button and you twist and that's a big move in the Dominus and that sort of really fools people and you can go straight with that but also you can take that from over in the side of the goal so let's bring it over here so say you come in around the goal from the side here you can do it like that where it gives you a second little double tap if you kind of time it correctly it takes a little bit of practice but I'll be going over how you can practice that so the next dribble is just going and basically just jumping up. It's more of like a pass kind of dribble where you can pass it over an opponent and your teammates there because they'll come off slow and it really won't throw them off too much. It depends on where you're using it. But lastly, the, next, the last dribble for the Dominus is just a plain old front flip. Now, if you didn't screw up like I did there, it will sort of catap catapult the ball. So, let me just get this started here. 
Okay, with the next dribble is basically like a front flip dribble. Front flip like maneuver. So you go, you get your dribble started. And with this, you want the ball more towards the front of your car. And what you do is you just go like that. And it's sort of a just a quicker way to kind of jam the ball into somewhere. Say if you got some and some opponent close, you can jam it past them. So that's majorly what the maneuvers are for Dominus. So I will be right back in the octane. All right, I'm back here in the octane, and it has a lot of the similar features to the Dominus dribbling. But the one major thing that it has is more of a turning radius when you're dribbling. So if you get it up on your hood here and then you start to turn not like that <laughs> give me one second so you start to turn the ball turns a lot easier in the octane than it does in the Dominus this is because the car is more off the ground it has more room for the ball to really stick to so like uses for this is like say like getting a sharp sort of turn and dribbling it into the goal where your team where the other team doesn't expect it so like it's just useful in many different matters and obviously the more you play around with the octane and work on it the better you will get at side dribbling um so that's really the major differences for the octane i mean it's got all the same moves i mean the ball comes off a little bit different than the Dominus because the car shape but obviously the more you practice with that the more you learn how the ball comes off differently and how you can use things as, to your advantage so the next thing that I want to go over is air dribbling so this is something that a lot of people have trouble with I haven't seen too many people actually do it more it's more of a pro thing it's more of a harder thing to do in the game I'm not too great at it uh, I can sort of do it with the octane and I'm going to kind of show you my best attempt at it here so basically what you do is you're gonna start off with a normal dribble like sort of like this and then you want to just jump up once and then start flying with the ball like that in a way now let me let me actually do this let me concentrate for a second and do this so you get your dribble started actually let me just get my dribble started okay and then you sort of jump up but what you want to do is you want to have it centered with the front of your car now I'm, I'm not the best at giving this example I, I kind of wish I had my friend uh, Zach here who's a lot better at it than I am but that's sort of how you do it there that's a little bit of an air dribble and obviously I will show you in just a second how you work on that a little bit more and where I can do it a little bit better so that's my little basis for air dribbling there and let me show you where you should really be practicing dribbling and practicing your air dribbling and stuff like that because you know, you could do it just in regular training, but this way I think is a lot better and a lot easier to start off. And then you can try it more here. So let me jump there. Okay, so for practicing, what I do is I basically go into an exhibition or a private match, put it unlimited goals, unlimited time, and I put the game in slow-mo and use unlimited boost just like training. So what this will allow you to do is really sort of in the slow, finer detail, see your movements and make them better. So like, as you can see there, you can kind of see a lot better of what I'm doing while I'm dribbling. And you can get the ball up on the top of your car a lot easier. And this is also a good place to practice air, air dribbling and just anything in the game. Because it, at slow motion, you're really allowed to correct your motions and correct what you're doing wrong and see it a lot better. So let's just show you now that I'm in slow motion, I may be able to do a little bit more of air dribbling here. So there we go. That's a really shitty one, but that's a little bit of something here. Let me go and reset the ball and I will show you it again, probably better. Okay, for air dribbling here, we're going to just get it on the top of my car really quickly. And then we're going to jump up and bring it up. So that's a little bit of air dribbling. I mean, it's not the best. I must say I'm not the best out of it at it um that's something i'm really trying to improve on the game and maybe when i get a little bit better i will make another prospects guide on air dribbling that's a little bit more detailed and a little bit better for the viewers to really get the concept of because i'm explaining it there but i'm not so sure you can do it like 
really get the full concept because you're not really seeing it so much. Okay, so this has been another prospects guide. I hope this has helped you in some way and help is going to help you in your gameplay of dribbling. So this has been Epic Eclipse, and I will see you in the next one.